Hey, my name is Evan. I own Ascended Technologies. Today we're going to break down the year's end numbers for my Exometry Partner Network sales. So yes, I'm an Exometry partner. I am a premium partner. I do a lot of work for them on this machine right here. It supports my business. I also have other customers. I make videos on different sales systems that you can use in your machine shop to grow your sales. And if you're thinking, you know, what kind of credentials does a guy with a little mill in his you know, garage have? I used to work in a large manufacturing environment. I used to employ different sales systems, hire people, put machines on the floor, dedicate products to machines. So this is my journey of starting my own business. So we're gonna go through the exometry numbers today, how much I did in the full scale production of six months and where I'm going and how my machine shop looks, how it's going to look. This is how my machine shop looks right now. Very messy right here, we're moving everything out. This machine's getting slid over and I just won a ton of stuff at auction. So we're gonna put a surface grinder right here, a double-ended buffing wheel with a vacuum system. We're, we got a three-phase vacuum system coming as well. We have a bunch of new cabinets coming. Um, this is what the machine shop used to look like. So this is, this is the crap corner uh, where the chips are at and there used to be a shelf back there. Over here, there's that mess of a shelf. So very tiny, very disorganized, but you know, you, you have to do what you have to do when you first start out. Um, we have looked at some big industrial buildings, but we're just gonna take our time with that because 2,000 bucks a month for rent is a, uh, it adds up $24,000 a year. We can definitely use that on other things. So yeah, stay tuned for uh, more updates on the shop and I'm excited to show you guys more. Yeah, needless to say, I'm super proud of what I've done in the last couple of months as far as starting my own business, learning as much as I have. I have so much more to learn, but I think that if I keep on going, I'm gonna just, I'm, I'm gonna be fine. So yeah, let's break down another exometry job as far as what my hourly rate is then let's go through the total numbers that I did with Zometry in six months in 2024. So yeah, check it out. Okay, so today we have an Exometry job we're doing. It's valued at $300 and it's due tomorrow. I'm gonna go through how long it took me to do this job, what the cost of the material is, and what my average shop rate of doing this job is, and then a breakdown of how it applies to my monthly income and what my machine costs, what all my overhead is, and just a good overview of how the system performs inside of the machine shop and what I can personally make with Zometry. So check it out. This is the time we are on operation. Let me see here really quick. We're on, we're on operation four, the last operation of this job. We've only been on it for a little bit more than an hour and it's almost done. Well, while that's running, we're gonna go and inspect the components. I have this piece right here. Okay, so the job is done. 
I started at 120 and it is 250 right now up there. So it didn't take me long at all. The job's valued at $300. I'm gonna go through and break down what everything costs to make, what my average monthly income is, and you know, just, just, just the general numbers that everyone wants to see. So yeah, check it out. Okay guys, welcome to the end of the video. We're gonna go through the numbers now. Um, the job I just worked on that was in the video was $200 an hour. It took me an hour and a half and it paid out $300. Um, the material and everything was nothing. Uh, I paid for paper pretty much. My material was already in the bin over there. I pulled it out, I used it. If you wanted to buy the material new, the numbers for the materials, $33.82 on McMaster. So if you wanted to buy the material and do it, that's what the numbers would be. But I made a hundred and, no, I made $200 an hour, right? So my advice to you as you come to the end of this video is I would not focus on only sticking to exometry. Don't put all your eggs in one basket. Grow your sales, grow your marketing, grow your business, move out of your garage, start a, be start a bigger manufacturing environment. Um, some people are very successful with exometry in their large manufacturing centers, depending upon what machinery they have, what level of programmers they have, etc. You can be successful, but this is not professional business advice. This is just my perspective and my experiences in my garage for six months. So yeah, check it out. So the end of 2024 here, I'm wrapping up, uh, the gross revenue from exometry only is $88,061.86. The cost of goods to make the products was $19,373.61. So the net revenue is $68,688.25. So I'm only gonna track the last six months. That being because I have eight months in the garage, it took me two months to get the environment even relatively scaled up to the point where I could make product effectively. That was after I bought the vices and the tools and everything that I needed where I wasn't you know, just kind of impeding myself by using one drill in one holder and then cycling 25 drills out that one holder. For one job right i would manually be tool changing and taking the drill out and putting it back in so my net profit's quite low but that that that's explained down here as to what i did and why that happened i'm getting ready to scale for next year so the sile x7 for all of my overhead here my sile x7 is quite expensive and in contrast to what you would probably expect only because i have the 36 month term through uh, geneva capital so that's my payment my heating is 40 bucks. I just got my heating system done. My electricity is 150 bucks. Oils, coolant, PPE, internet, insurances, um, general liability insurance and product insurance. Um, like you're selling a product to an aerospace company and if it fails online, on their line, um, then there's a problem and they look for someone to sue. So don't get yourself in that situation, but if you do have insurance for it. The building is $200 a month. Um, the business compliances are $100 a month software and payment match. I pay myself roughly $200 a month out of the visometry only business model I'm explaining here. Um, so my total monthly expenses for my business are $4,526 and zero cents. My total overhead costs from July to year end are $27,156. So that's that times six, all of this times six, right? Yeah. Let me check that out really quick. Four, five, two, six times six. Yes. Okay. So my personal compensation was 14,000 out of this. My payment match went up a little bit. My personal compensation is 14,000. There's a little discrepancy between this number and this number. Okay. Just a little bit. My total net revenue before growing, before growth investments, that is this number minus this number is $41,532.25. And then I really wanted to scale for 2025, um, upgrade this building, make it comfortable, make it heated, make it climate controlled. Um, and then from there, grow my sales as much as I can in 2025 and then launch into another building with more machines. So, my total net revenue before growth investments, 
And then I purchased a saw, a heating system, garage upgrades as far as moisture barriers, hydraulic cement, insulation, lights, everything, airlines. Air compressor upgrade. The air compressor I had before was extremely loud, so we upgraded the air compressor, upgraded the storage, upgraded to a good heat treat oven, and got some new equipment that's coming in in a little bit, a surface grinder, um, dust collectors, things like that. So $3,000 for that. So the total investments I made into the business is $16,350, just for little things to increase my efficiency. My goal is to do a quarter million dollars through exometry next year. We're gonna try it, we're gonna make a video series on it. Hopefully we can achieve it. So my net profit that still remains in my business at the end of the year, which I'm looking to spend, is $25,182 divided by six, $4,197 profit per month that stays inside of the business. That is primarily because I'm trying to aggressively grow the business, pour as much money back into it as I can, pay myself as little as possible. So yeah, these are the numbers. This is just my perspective. This is not professional business advice. This is just what I'm experiencing. Like anything, running a machine shop has a ton of dynamic variables to it. And it's your job as a, an entrepreneur or a CNC machine shop owner or whatever you're doing, if this interests you, to analyze every single variable and make the decision based upon the data that's available. Um, is this profitable for me? Should I keep on doing this? Do I need to make phone calls? Do I need to develop a better sales strategy? What do I need to do to get to the next step? I personally use exometry to balance out the low periods in between bigger orders from other suppliers. Sometimes exometry puts out enough work that it makes sense for me to primarily do the work only through them and not worry about other orders, but there are low points just with any company. So as you look through the numbers in your business, as you decide if you're gonna start a machine shop, just make sure that you analyze every single variable because nothing is black and white so yeah and this is my perspective this is uh my machine shop and how much i've grown it this year and i look forward to 2025 until i see you guys again take care